This ain't no intro, it's the entree. Hit that end. Hey, this is Virgie, and welcome to my channel. From Houston, like Auntie Yonce. Man, my daughter couldn't have a better mother. What up guys, this is V's Kicks back with another video for you. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Nike and Stranger Things collab. So let's get right into it. So I actually caught these probably like a month ago and I'm super, super late <laughs> with getting this video out. I kind of wanted this to be like my first video, like coming back, getting into the groove of things because I've been... MIA for a minute um but I don't know life happens um but I was actually going to do these in two separate videos but since this is super late I decided to just go ahead and put both of the ones that I got in the same video so I copped the Stranger Things collapse from the first drop that they had with the um Hawkins High School the orange and green pairs now i originally only wanted the tailwind pair but however you guys know when you are trying to cop off the sneakers app um you know you put in for your draw and you wait to see like you kind of like wait in virtual line to see if you actually get the shoe so i went and i put in for all of them thinking that i possibly wouldn't get any um i didn't put in for the blazer um because that was the one i liked the least um but i think that one actually sold out the quickest and it's like going for the most on like stock x but whatever um, I put in for the Tailwind and the Cortez and I actually hit on both. Um, and I was a little like, dang, you know, I didn't want both. Kind of mad that I had to like get both. But I'm actually kind of glad that I did because I actually ended up liking the Cortez more than I like the Tailwind. So let's go ahead and get into the review. Here is uh, the packaging that it came in. On the bottom is the Tailwind. On the top is the Cortez. Now they are both the same size, a size 7. So I'm not sure why the tailwind box is bigger but whatever so we'll talk a little bit about the packaging um now it came in this white and green nike box um and then it has the hawkins high school sign on the side here um and for those who don't watch the show hawkins um is like the it's either the city or the county that they live in and then the name of the school is hawkins um and then here it has uh 1985 nike stranger things on the box there um now what i oh and then on the inside you have nike stranger things what i thought was really dope was that the paper that is wrapped in is actually a newspaper the hawkins post um now when i got the shoe i hadn't watched season three yet um and so i was like i don't ever remember them talking about the hawkins post maybe they did but they talked about it a lot in season three and I thought that was also dope when I read I actually read the newspaper because it's like a real like a real paper um and I read it and some of the things didn't make sense but it was actually kind of like some clues that were happening in this current season so um I thought that that was like super dope as well so it comes in this packaging and we'll go ahead and get into the shoe so first we'll show you guys the Cortez now this is actually my first pair of Nike Cortezes, um, and it's not a shoe that I typically would get. Um, I have seen some, you know, that I was like, oh, maybe um, if the price was lower, but never pulled the trigger. But I'm actually glad that I was, I got this because it's a really dope shoe and it looks really good on foot. Um, but it's pretty much just a all white shoe with your hits of green on the Nike swoosh, and you have some hits of the orange at the bottom. Um, the midsole is kind of like an off-white kind of color. Um, on the back, again, you have the Hawkins High School uh, sign. On the tongue, you have Nike Stranger Things. Then on the inside, you have Property of Haw Hawkins Athletics Department. And then in the inside, it has some more Nike Stranger Things stuff. So, pretty simple shoe. Um, but again, I think that it is really clean and looks really good on foot. Um, another dope thing that came with both pair of the shoes are these dope pins. Um, each shoe came with three sets of pins. Um, the first one just has like your Nike Stranger Things. The second one is actually from the ice cream shop. Now I don't remember the ice cream shop being in any of the other seasons. I think that it's new to this season because when I got the pins, like I said, I hadn't watched this season yet. 
and I was like what is Chips Ahoy like I hadn't remembered it from previous seasons but I think that Ice Cream Shop is the first time that it that it appeared this season I won't say too much you know just in case somebody still hasn't watched it yet um and then at the bottom they have this uh Hawkins Athletics Department pin um so I thought that this was also really really cool that they included um you know these in both pair of the shoes um now I didn't cop anything from the second uh Stranger Things release um but it, I do want to see if I can find the pins because the pins that came in that release were different from these so if I can find those pins and just get the pins without any of the shoes that'd be dope so now we will look at the tailwind now I don't think I've ever like looked at a tailwind before or wanted a tailwind and pretty much the only reason I got it is because I am a big fan of the Stranger Things and I honestly when I first saw the pictures I thought that this was the best one out of the pack um, and again, you have the Hawkins on the back um, with your Nike there, orange and white. Then you have your orange shoes, all green shoe, kind of like your off-white midsole again, black bottom. Um, and then on the inside, you have the same inside as the Cortez with the Nike and some Stranger Things branding on there. Um, and again, it's pretty clean basic shoe I don't think if it had any of the stranger things stuff on there I would wear or get this um but the stranger things definitely makes me want to wear the shoe and it has the stranger things on the tongue there as well um so yeah I mean it's pretty basic um but I really like the Cortez more than this one um and that's shocking like I really thought that this would be the one that I really liked the most but it's this and um, I think this will still probably look good on feet I actually haven't even tried this one on yet but we shall see um but this one definitely is probably my favorite um in the other pack it was pretty much the same it had the Cortez the Tailwind and the Blazer um those were just the blue and red colorways and none of those like I don't think like the Cortez and that one was like all red and I really don't think I would be into an all red Cortez so the only reason I would have copped any of those was just to get the different pins that those came with so and I don't think that's like these pins typically cost like a couple bucks so I don't think it was worth paying like a hundred and something dollars for a pair of shoes just to get the pins out but maybe I'll get lucky and find someone who was just selling their pins from that pack um but that is pretty much all guys on this review um just wanted to come and get that out um and like i said i know i'm super late with this but i wanted to come and do this review because i am a really big fan of the stranger things show um i did notice some people did cop this collab but don't watch the show and for me i don't think i would have copped any of these if i were not such a big fan of the show because they're both pretty basic shoes like like I said, if the Stranger Things collab stuff wasn't on here, this is not something that I would have went after. Um, but I guess that's kind of like how it is with all collabs, like off-whites in there, like basic Air Force Ones. But we go after it because it's the off-white. So I guess that's how it is with all the collabs. But um, comment down below if you guys copped any of the Stranger Things collabs, um, if you guys are fans of the show. Um, that's all I got for this video, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, Hopefully another video will follow soon. Um, but thanks guys for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace. I guess you knew it blew a good thing, baby. Bye, baby. I guess you